Good afternoon, folks. I'm Patrick Damore, PJ Professional here at Patrick Damore Golf Instruction. Today, folks, I'm going to show you a drill on how to create width in your forward swing when you're hitting golf shots. Again, if we can have a wider swing arc on our forward swing, we will hit more consistent shots, more solid shots. With less spin, less spin means straighter shots, folks, higher launch, and just a lot more enjoyable day on the golf course. That's one of the big premises of my on-playing golf swing at my website. We need to create width on the forward swing. What I mean by that is this. The golf swing, you have two swing arcs, the back swing arc and the forward swing arc. The golf club head travels a certain arc on the back swing and on the forward swing. The forward swing arc, if we can get that swing arc wide, we're going to hit more solid golf shots, straighter golf shots, less spin, higher launch, better wind shots just all around better golf shots. That's why we have to create width in the forward swing versus narrowness or steep. When we cast the club at the top of the swing, we're creating narrow downswing arc or forward swing arc. The good players out there, when you let the hips take off with a lot of lag, late, late, late release, we're creating narrowness again. The end result of that is a two-way miss, a push slice or a pull hook. Unless your timing's perfect and you can hit a couple straight shots. But majority of the time, you got a two-way miss to think about. And that's, that's very hard to play golf that way. I know I've been doing it a long time. The whole premise of the on-plane swing is width. How do we get wide forward swing arc? How do we get this golf club head traveling wider through the hitting area? When we create width, the golf club head is not traveling into the ground. It is, but not at a steep angle. It's traveling more parallel to the ground to the target. So the club hit speed that you have, you're expending to the target into the ball instead of into the ground into the ball. Your margin of success, that landing area, is greater with a wider swing arc because we're coming in shallower. When we come in steep, the margin of success is much, much, much smaller. You almost have to be perfect at impact to hit a solid shot that way. That's why we create, and I encourage greatly, width in the golf swing. How do we do this? I'm going to show you a drill today on how to create width, okay? First of all, grab a, a pitching wedge or a gap wedge. I got a gap wedge. And again, folks, with drills, as usual, do not get caught up in how solid you hit it. Do not get caught up in how straight you hit it. Do not get caught up in how good you hit it. All we're trying to do is create new muscle memory. All we're trying to do is bleed out bad muscle memory. And that's what drills do. If you do a lot of drills all the time, a lot of days of the week, over and over and over again, your golf swing, your, your old bad golf swing habits will, will be bled right out of your swing. You won't have to think about nothing. Just continually do the drills that are specific for your golf swing. Today, the drill I'm going to show you is on width. How to create a wide forward swing arc. Again, we got our gap wedge. I got my hitting station set up as you can see. I got my parallel golf tracks to the target. I got my ball position club set up here so you can see where my ball, ball position is. Normal uh, width of stance with the wedge is about shoulder width apart. Okay. With this drill, I'm going to take an extra wide stance. Ball position is going to remain relatively the same. One golf ball left to center for a right hand golfer. Now, I'm going to choke up on an inch. The shorter the club, the steeper my swing plane is, the harder it is to create width. So if I can create width with this short golf club, choked up on an inch, I can create width with any golf club in the bag, folks. That's why I go to the extremities when I'm choosing my golf clubs. Now, wider stance, and all you're gonna think about on the back swing is getting the upper body to move off the ball to your back foot. Don't confuse that with a sway, folks. I'm gonna tell you the difference here in a second. Again, upper body to the back foot on the forward swing, upper body to the front foot. As you can see, I've got a, a considerable amount of movement in my upper body, off the ball and to the ball. It's not a sway, it's a good weight shift, just for this drill. Okay, the weight is staying inside the right foot, or your back foot. Off the ball to the back foot, through the ball to the front foot. So you see a little bit of sway there, a big weight shift. Now again, we don't do this with a normal golf swing with a wedge, obviously, but for this drill, we're going to do this. This teaches the golf club wide and wide. Wide forward swing. 
this teaches your golf body, your, your muscle memory, not to come in steep. When you hit these shots properly with this drill, you're going to see a shallower divot, a, a shallower divot, a little higher launch with less spin. That's what we're looking for. That's the key to distance, folks. High launch, less spin. Less spin gets you straighter shots in the wind. Less spin gets you straighter shots in general because the ball is not going to curve as much. Now, again, I joke at about a half inch to an inch, three quarter golf swing. All I'm trying to do is off the ball, to the ball, pass the ball. I'm taking my upper body and I'm motioning. Off the ball movement, to the ball, pass the ball. Three quarter swing. Again, I'm not worried about the result. Let me watch. Let me show you, folks. Okay, a little wider stance than normal. You want the feeling of the body moving through the shot with a wedge, which typically we don't do that with a wedge. We're doing it for the drill, though. Again, we hit the shot now, folks. Off the ball, to the ball. Much shallower divot. With a normal wedge, I'd take a little steeper divot than that, but this is much shallower. That's what this drill does. It teaches you a much shallower angle of attack, a much wider golf swing on the forward swing, more solid shots, better contact, less spin, and eventually straighter shots. Now, the other important thing about this wider downswing arc is, let me show you from this angle, folks. Here's our direction club. Off the ball, to the ball, to the target. This golf club head stays on the target line that much longer through impact. That's very important. Very important. If this golf club head stays on the target line through impact for a couple inches more, you've just greatly increased your chance for a straighter golf shot. Instead of the turn off the ball, turn through the ball. Your rotation, your timing's got to be perfect. Okay. The wider swing arc encourages shallower angle of attack, golf club coming much shallower, golf club going down the target line through impact, then eventually exiting left. Much straighter golf shots, much more solid. That's why a wide forward swing arc is extremely important to hit good golf shots, folks. Let me show you the drill one more time with my wedge. Wider stance than normal, choke at about an inch. Three-quarter swing. All I'm trying to do is feel the sensation. My upper body moving off the ball, through the ball. Okay. One more time. Again, folks, this is just a drill. You're not going to be swaying that much or moving that much during the golf swing on the golf course. But on the practice tee with this drill, you have to teach your body muscle memory. That's why we do this drill. This drill will encourage a wider swing arc on the forward swing, much more solid golf shots. I'm Patrick Damore, PJ Professional here at Patrick Damore Golf Instruction. You can contact me at patrick at patrickdamoregolf.com. Thank you. Have a great day.